Hey everyone, hope you all are having a wonderful day today. I'm here at Belmonte Auto and we've got a super sweet new luxury SUV for you guys to take a look at today. This right here is a 2023 Kia Telluride S. We've got 3.8 liter V6, all wheel drive. We've got heated leather interior with the third row seats, super spacious third row and middle row, by the way. Uh, I've got some other sweet features like navigation, backup camera, wireless and USB-C, fast charging, got the premium sound system I'm not sure the brand but it is fantastic it sounds great uh, I've got low miles under 29,000 got a Carfax one owner Carfax regular oil changes and a clean title no accidents so let's check this thing out it is super sweet lots to unpack starting on the driver's side we've got these nice black leather bucket seats here powered for both sides and then we've also got your on your door here cubby Got the, there's the speakers. It just says tell your ride down here though. I thought I'd show you guys that so you didn't think I was faking you out. Got your uh, child locks, window, and mirror controls here. Let's go ahead and jump on in. Oh, one more thing before we hop in. We got adjustable steering wheel and we've got your nice rubberized floor mats. Look like they're brand new. And underneath that, we've also still got your plain cloth ones too. Let's go ahead and jump on in here and take a closer look. So we got your very nice steering wheel here with driver controls on either side. And then if we take a closer look on your dash here, we got just 28,869 miles. So that's not bad. Super cool dash too. Uh, got a little screen here in the center you can kind of play with, do different things, um, make it show different things. You can also adjust like the, the visual, the colors, all that kind of stuff. Very customizable car, very vibey, I guess you could say. Um, but moving on, we've got nice big elongated display screen here it is touch screen we've got the navigation look at that beautiful got the navigation you can catch your phone take phone calls play your own music bluetooth aux radio all that good stuff um if we put it in reverse though here is going to function as a backup camera we do have alerts we've also got a little sensor thing over there that'll show you when you start getting close um that's kind of cool with a little dark mode shows your your navigation there. Um, got tons of settings in here for your vehicle settings, uh, sound settings, all that good stuff. We've got some driver assistance, driver convenience, parking sensors and uh, parking safety, driving safety, driver attention, speed limit warnings, tons of stuff there. Um, I'm gonna let you guys just play with this yourself when you guys come in to take a look at it because I know you guys are gonna want to after this video. So there's tons more, but I'll let you guys handle the rest. Um, below that though, we've got your dual climate controls, which work great. I actually had to turn it down because it was getting a little bit chilly in here. Um, then we got your heated seats here, driver and passenger side adjustable with three different settings. Uh, below that, we've got this little pop-up cubby here. You can close it up if you don't like the way it looks. Uh, there's your wireless phone charging pad. We've also got a 12 volt outlet, USB and a fast charging port. Behind that, Shift knob, we've got a little cubby there. Behind that, we've got your cup holders, kind of a cool little chrome trim around it. Um, we've got a little eco, comfort, sport, different modes, snow, parking sensor button. Uh, very nice, big, deep center console here with a removable tray. And then in the glove box here, we've got your owner's manual there. Below that, in this little paper, we've got your original window sticker, which I will have pictures up on the website so you guys can head over there to check that out. Uh, what else we got? We got push to start button here. So here is your push to start. And then here's your key fobs, comes with two. It also comes with these two little stick things. I don't know if that's like the valet parking, valet mode thing or what, but there's that. Um, and I think that's about it for in here. So we're going to go ahead and jump on out and we're going to take a spin around the rest of the vehicle and I will meet you guys out there. So on the outside here, we've got your turn signal light indicators on the outside of your mirrors. We've also got the little blind spot indicators on the inside there. Got the kind of cool gray accent throughout. A little stripe on the bottom too. Black on the very bottom. We've got some really sick rims. Super futuristic looking. All right, so here is your trunk space. Pretty good amount of space as we sit, but of course we got the third row seats up right now. Um, we've got a little bit more additional space up under here as well, though. A little, little bit of space over there. Is, and we can take the seats down, just give them a little pull on this rope thing here. It'll drop the headrest, drop the seats, and that'll give you quite a bit of extra space right there. Middle rows also go down. I'll go ahead and put one of them down for you. You got the buttons right here to do it automatically. 
So there you go. There's a good little visual for you. Tons of space for sure for people or cargo. So you just pull them back into place with the rope, let it go. Um, on the inside of the third rows here, you got cup holders and USB-C fast charging ports on both sides as well. And this is a very spacious third row. So as you can see here, usually you've got about half that amount of space on the third row. So that's awesome. All right, and seat's pretty easy to put back up. I'm gonna have to put it down for just a minute. You gotta pull on this and lift the seat at the same time. Bear with me. There we go, just like that. So hopping up in here now, got plenty, plenty of head and leg space. Seats are super comfortable. I'm 6'3", so no problems there. These seats are also adjustable. And as you can see here, if you look at the track, it is towards the front of the track, a uh, little, bit, little bit middle front. Uh, but there's definitely room to scoot it back or forward if either the middle or back passengers needed more room. So lots of options for that. Got the little cubby pockets on the back of the seats, little hook here. Got USB-C fast charging ports on either side of the front seats. Cup holders, little 12 volt outlet there. Again, with the nice rubberized floor mats. And then we got armrests, drop up and fold down. You can also lock them in different positions. And I'll give you guys a quick uh, look at the back seat with me in it just so y'all can see how much space this actually is so again I'm 6'3 and I've got inches like six inches or more between my knee and the seat in front of me so tons and tons of space really impressive for a third row here's a last quick look at your front before we pop on out super clean love that display up there as well Very, very nice car. I love the front end, looks great. Little lights on the side, look cool. So there you have it, folks. That was the 2023 Kia Telluride S here at Belmonte Auto. If you guys are interested in this vehicle here, head over to our website, www.belmonteauto.com, where you can find more pictures, information, pricing, and car facts for this awesome SUV here, as well as many other vehicles that we have on our website. So we hope to see you guys there. We look forward to working with each and every one of you. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next video or when you come in to check out this car. Have a good one, guys.